Daily in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up to sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. You know what? You'll never catch me gloating over anything. But I've been getting a little bit of abuse from people saying I'm lying, um, I'm delusional, all this kind of thing. When I said that Dylan White will soon be the number one ranked WBC opponent for Deontay Wilder's title. Here's the gloat. I told you. Dylan White is now number one ranked WBC contender for Deontay Wilder's title. So, that's out of the way. What happens now? Well, he's number one. So that means Dylan White is the best op option for Deontay Wilder right now. He fights anybody else other than Dillian White, then on paper, he's taking an easier fight. Now, I'm excluding the champions, well, Anthony Joshua and Joseph Parker, of course. I'm talking about ranked opponents, so if the fight with Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder doesn't happen February, March, as in they have common sense and they choose to go to Wembley in the summer, which is only a couple of months later, then... If you're going to have a warm-up fight, no injuries, all this kind of thing, as usual, then the best opponent for him to take would be Dillian White. If he takes on Dominic Brazil, he's ducked the best-ranked opponent on the WBC. He fights Luis Ortiz. He's ducked the best opponent on the WBC. So, Deontay Wilder, are you going to fight Dillian White or are you not? Are you going to take the biggest purse of your career or are you not? If you're not, then what that says to me is you've ducked him. And that says also that you don't want the big fights. You don't want the big money. You would rather take an easier fight against lesser opposition. But I understand if you don't want to fight Dylan White. I understand fully. You want the AJ payday. Because clearly, if you don't fight Dillian, it means you don't want to cash out for four million dollars plus US TV money you want to cash out for seven to ten million dollars against AJ that's not a bad business move I suppose but if I was you I would probably wait for some of them if that's what you really want to do if you're really scared of Dillian White maybe best don't fight anybody until Anthony Joshua in the summer so you have like a nice little break take your family abroad somewhere have some sunshine have some cocktails round about january february time start your camp ready for july so that's my thoughts right now dylan white the number one contender in the wbc i told you number one